Hello and welcome back to City Planner Plays where we are building the City of Bluffside Crossing. And we are currently looking at one of the builds that I am least satisfied with in this entire city. It's the double trumpet. This is the, uh, the two interchanges that separate our forestry district from Green Hills. Um, it, it's a really bizarre configuration. Today we're going to fix this. So let's get started. First I want to pause this. We're gonna to wanna to do quite a bit of we're gonna we're gonna do quite a bit of destruction here. And I'm I'm concerned that if I don't pause this, I'm gonna really damage this area. That said, you know what? No, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> this is what happens when things are reconstructed. They people will find alternative routes to get places and uh, they would be signed. So nothing is really super important here, I think, except for this power line. Uh, it would be nice to maintain this freeway access. Absolutely. But there's another way into all of these places, and that's because we've made everything redundant. So we're good. So what I think we're going to use here is we're going to use a spooey. Uh, so this is a nice urban interchange that provides through movement through these areas and I think that's gonna be really important because uh, you know reasonably so I, I thought about two there's a divergent diamond we could use that uh, or we could use this and I think that this will just provide that through movement a little bit better and that's the movement I want to prioritize between these areas so this is a pre-built asset and it's one that's included in the bluffside crossing set and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it for a second because of that power line I'm gonna place it right here so after placing the spooey I, I, I thought about this a little bit more and I, you know I don't like <laughs> The uh, uh, so in the spoo, everything's coming into the middle, and I don't think that that is necessarily the best option for us. So we take a look at this. Obviously, we need to grade this first, but you know you have all of this uh, merging occurring, and and then that's not going to work in the game. So that isn't necessarily the best asset. I do like this industrial interchange. The one thing I would change if I use this is that I would probably take the highway and elevate it over the road. That seems, in my, my opinion, to be a little bit more natural of a of a way to approach that. And then there is this uh, DCMI that, you know, this uh, diverging diamond that we could also use. I kinda wanna take a look at this. I'm just gonna plop it quick and see how it looks. That looks like it's not gonna work very well. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we are gonna go with this industrial interchange, but we need to look at our topography first. So let's take a look and yeah, that is that is some pretty challenging topography. So in this instance, I am 100% certain that something would be done to make this a little less stark. It's uh that's a significant grade. So something's going to have to be done to fix this. We're going to have to figure that out right now. So we're going to begin to grade this. We're going to want to level this at a point where maybe we could make a transition between each of the existing highways. So, I think we'll go here, somewhere in the middle, and carve out a location for this. And this is kind of temporary for now. We will figure out the exact location of everything in the, in the near future. Okay, so that is probably as good as it's going to get. We're going to have a lot of work to do on this. I, I, I don't I don't love this. I think we're actually going to have to bring it up a little bit more. This is the challenge. This is probably not the best location for this arterial, but it's already there. So we're going to have to work with it. We're going to be doing a lot of grading today. Whoa, that's a little more than I wanted to do. Um, I just know that with the types of uses we're going to be uh, focusing on today, being level is going to be very important. And that power line, that's got to go. Uh, if I don't take care of that now, we're going to lose it. So I'm just going to struggle with this just a little bit. <laughs> that happens from time to time. Okay, much better. Back to our flat pad, and I think we can finally get this thing placed. 
I would really love to get this as close to that existing road as I can. So one of the things that's, I think is going to work in my favor is I plan on raising up this the main highway. And I think that that's going to help out a lot. So we want to make sure that these main this main road through here is flat. But beyond that, I'm not overly concerned with this because we're going to eliminate it anyway. So I think we might just take this, well, <laughs> might just take this highway and begin the elevation fairly quickly. Now this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get going on getting this to be a little bit more level. There's certainly challenges that we're going to have to work through. I think I want to be really gentle over here. I, unfortunately, we had this fence. And I know we're making this transition a little wonky. But, got to do what we got to do. Alright. Oh, and I see that I left a little bit of underground road. So, let's take care of that. Okay, so from here, I want to connect up with this bridge. But I am significantly higher than it so let's back this out a little ways we are working against the topography and that is not the right way to do it so let's feather this out a little bit a lot of bit <laughs> and uh, get it working with us again so these contour lines are crazy at this point, and we're probably going to have to do something with this bridge connection generally, because that's that's extreme. Oh boy. So we might need to actually back this up a little ways and start start reaching the ground a lot sooner, because this is already going to be very, very, very steep. And we might as well start building the other side of this as well. No time like the present to get it going. Oh, I went down there. The last thing I want to do is make this highway go down <laughs> at this point. Um, kind of have a weird turn there. So I think that we're actually going to use the guidelines to set up our road. I think we were at 10 meters. So let's mirror that. Oh, and I switched roads. Let's get that upgraded. And we have move it, so I won't be overly concerned about any odd things that happen. We also have node controller, so we will use that to smooth out some of these transitions. But in general, I think that it looks pretty good so with that uh, we can start our descent towards the existing highway and hopefully have a fairly reasonable connection in here so I think th this highlights to me uh, just how impractical the previous solution was you know and this would be a challenging solution I'm not I'm not going to deny that but I do think that it works significantly better and it will allow that through movement to occur so that all of these trips out of this neighborhood aren't forced onto the highway to get elsewhere. I'm a little curious. I see that there are two highway signs there. Yep, that means that we're going in the wrong direction for a little bit. All right, so we've got that fixed. I do think I want to look at the heights here just to make sure that we're we're good. I think we're a little off. Let's get those fixed. So I probably could have used the parallel road tool here to, to make things a little bit easier for myself, but I didn't do that. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to play with things a little bit ourselves, which is fine. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think that we are looking okay now. Just kind of a little bit of a 
got weird height stuff going on here. Let me see if I pull up node controller, if I can do anything to smooth some of this stuff out. Okay, so probably as good as it's gonna get. Let's make sure we have all of these highways going in the right direction. So we definitely do not. And then we'll go through node controller again and make sure that everything is as good as it can be. Now that we have node controller figured out, I do wanna just make sure that we're, we have a nice slope. So I will slope these objects and that does raise it up a bit. Interesting. I guess I was assuming it was gonna lower it down. There's a couple of kind of bumpy areas in here. So I'm gonna go through and just slide node controller around to make sure that I'm getting these sloped so they're as attractive as they can be. Cause I know that that's what we're all looking for on our highways. A nice attractive highway. <laughs> so Very good. I think that we are probably in as good a spot as we're gonna be. Maybe move this node just a little bit to straighten it out a little bit more. All right, good. I will leave it. I think it's good to know when things are good and not try to get perfect on it. Not, not worth anyone's time and not in the best interest of the city. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna have some exits onto the highway. And since we're entering roundabouts, I think one, one lane is just, just fine to start out with. If things get too wily, you know, maybe we'll extend, extend things a little bit more, but I don't know why we would need this to be any larger than that off the bat. So we're able to stay at ground level for that connection, but for this next connection, we're gonna need to go up, which means we're gonna need to go longer potentially. And I am gonna force this to, to be a bridge. I think that that would be a little bit more rational. So what you'd probably actually see here would be in, in, you know, embankment up to this point. So what we'd probably wanna do is bring in fill and bring that to maybe this point and taper back. Uh, it's really a challenge to get that done in city skyline. So I don't do it all that often, but that would be the most rational way of approaching this. Uh, the cheapest way of approaching this, I guess I, I should clarify what rational means because <laughs> rational means one thing to me and maybe something more or something different to you. So that's what it means to me. It means that it's uh, financially feasible. So I kind of want to look at these angles just to make sure that nothing's jagged and weird. And I'm just making things way worse. <laughs> so I wanted to, to give a nice approach. And I think I might need to redo it to get that good approach. So I want to get the angle to be kind of smooth and sweeping. And the thing is then you can get a faster turn and likely a safer entrance to the highway. So that would be my ideal goal. And I'm also preserving land at that point. So the angles aren't that aren't that extreme there. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna rebuild all these now that I think about it because we wouldn't want these really wide uh, approaches. So and I am going backwards. So whoa. <laughs> so I uh, yeah kind of a mental. Uh, mental fog there or something. <laughs> so another nice connection. I actually think I like that one more than the previous connection. But I want it to mirror other connections. So I'm going to make sure that the nodes line up. We'll fix some of this lumpy bumpy craziness later. And knowing that bridging is so expensive why don't we try to fix some of this? Because I have these bridges going up, so I know lots of stuff right now. I'm doing a lot with bridges, and maybe that's not the most entertaining thing, but I think it's really important. So hopefully you will deal with me for a minute. <laughs> I guess, because I think that this is, is important stuff. Okay, that. 
That is so much better. So much better. So let's take a look again at the way that things are going. There's some weird stuff going on here with this highway. There's, I, I think that because I forced it, it's unhappy. So I wonder. Now there's these angles there like it's still a bridge approach. I don't like that. So I'm gonna just try to make that disappear. Much better, much, much, much better. Let's also do a little bit of smoothing here. So we'll pick the nodes and get things level. Oh, that is great. Uh, once again, I am going to use node controller to try to make sure that we are sloping appropriately. Much better. So the way that I think we're going to fix this is so a couple things we could use node controller come to these nodes make them sloped that's going to do a lot for us but there is more i think we need to go through and actually uh so we could extend the bridge out to here clearly i just got done talking about how expensive bridges are so it's probably not the best solution so i think sloping is probably again the best solution. Oh, that's nice. That is that is really nice. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And then we'll do the same thing with these exits. Oh, so nice. So nice. No, it's not nice at all. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm not at all pleased with how that turned out. Okay, well. We'll keep going. Oh, now that is nice. Now the one thing I'm curious about is, yeah, no, that's that's not gonna work. <laughs> We're gonna have to lower this a little bit. So I think that's the height that we're gonna use for the roundabout. And we're gonna need to bring everything down to that height now that is significantly lower than the road. So we're just gonna have to be mindful of that. Okay, that's, I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna need to do some grading obviously, but I think we're good there. We are gonna do that grading now before we get our next ramps in place. And it's interesting, I'm noticing that there's some odd stuff going on here. We might actually need to bridge this to get rid of that weird lump there, but I think we're gonna hold off until we get our next ramps in place. So let's do that right now. And I'm not exactly sure why it decided to ramp right there, but we will, uh, or bridge right there rather, but we'll, we'll take care of that. That's, that's an easy enough fix. And let's mirror this over here. And we might need to use some anarchy to make this happen. It is not a fan of this movement, apparently. All right, so we've got all of our ramps in the right direction. Let's smooth this stuff out. Hmm, that was the wrong way. Oh, it's because I have another set of nodes highlighted. So the other ramp that I just worked on right here was also selected. And uh, that's problematic, <laughs> clearly. So we will fix that. Okay, so that's good. So this side over here doesn't seem to have nearly as many issues in terms of the ramp uh, or the bridge issues. So I, I do think that just for continuity's sake, we will make these all bridges. And then I will ramp or slope these on this end just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then slope these as well. Oh, nice slope. And then we'll use node controller just to make sure again that everything is as perfect as it can be. And I think that we are basically almost there. Oh, 
Okay, so how are we looking? We have that weird bridge issue again with that node. That drives me nuts. So I think, again, I've got to, I can't, I can't leave it like that. I just can't. We're going to have to rebuild that, even though I just did all that work. Okay, so I think that I finally got it, and it was just a lot of work with sloping and directions and lots of other stuff, but I think that this finally... Oh, there it is again. <laughs> it's these arrows that just drive me crazy. So, yeah, I gotta fix it. I, I just did it over there. I can't not do it over here. Okay, well... You are watching me rebuild the same intersection over and over and over. And at a certain point, you kind of wonder to yourself, should I have just made this by myself? Maybe it would have been easier because this has been a pain in the butt. But I think, I think it's for the best. The outcome will be good. You just got to be patient with it. But every now and then you realize you're just making things way, way, way more complicated than they have to be. And that's where I'm at now. And that's how I know that I've gone too far. <laughs> so, whoops. And now I know that I've really gone too far. Uh, so I'm going to leave this. Except for one more node controller. <laughs> because I know that at this point I'm not doing anything useful. I'm just redoing my work because I'm getting OCD about the locations of things and that is not helping the end product so I do just want to flatten out this area a little bit so that it's not quite so crazy at the junctions slope things there and then all right we're done we've got to stop <laughs> it's a uh, I don't think that I'm in a healthy place anymore with this. So let's get our grading accomplished. That, that sounds like a healthier task because we've already got a lot of really challenging stuff to work on. Namely, here's where our road is and we need to somehow get all the way down here. <laughs> so I am still gonna trying to work out how we're gonna figure that out. Up here, we have to get up Let's see, that's probably 30 feet. So that's going to be a challenge. A very, very big challenge. So we're going to need to eliminate a lot of stuff. And I think we're going to reroute this road. Now, we have this, what is this? Is this a library? Yes, yeah, a public library. We could certainly take that with eminent domain. It's city property. But do we really want to do that to ourselves? No, no, we don't want to do that to ourselves. We're going to instead force our way up this hillside and make a crazy steep junction because that <laughs> that's what happens topography this has been an interesting challenge today so i think we're going to work our way back up the back of this okay so we've got our topographic lines yeah we're cutting right against these <laughs> basically parallel with them so it's going to be a very steep road yeah oh boy that is very steep for an arterial and so i know that some people would say ah you know where i live it's really really steep this guy doesn't know what he's talking about well when you have a steeper road you're gonna want it to have a lower speed and an arterial so if we look at this one yeah, it's 40 so we actually might want to lower that speed. You know, I don't like that uh, clearly in, in, in this roundabout. We're using highway seg sections. I think we're going to change these. And then do some topographic smoothing. 
and then we're going to turn zoning off because I don't want to inadvertently zone this ever. That would be a huge, huge, huge mistake. And now I want to look at the speeds. Yeah, now it's 40 all the way through. Uh, you know, it's a roundabout. You could probably go slower than that, but at least I think that's a little more reasonable. We are going to want to do some node controller stuff here as well. It's probably as good as it gets. Okay, well, I don't love this, but I am stuck with it. So we have our connection. Oh, let's... So we need to get power, and we can't do that because our road's way down here. So that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 meters down. That is pretty devastating. So this road is going to have to go back quite a ways. So this level of infrastructure work would happen uh, through uh, you know, a program like in Wisconsin, we have a program called the Ma Highway Majors Program. And you know, that's for really significant roadway projects. You get a couple uh, done maybe every five, 10 years. And they have to have not just regional significance, but I would say statewide significance. Projects that without them, the economic impact to you know a, a region of the state would be absolutely devastating so that's why i, I think that a, a project like this could happen and i'm not overly concerned about all of the grading and smoothing that we're doing because i think that you'd, you'd have to do that for this kind of project so that said i'd love to go straight down but that's not happening that's not in the cards for this so we're actually going to turn and try not to fight the topography so much and unfortunately, this limits our buildable area, which is unfortunate because the game plan in this area eventually is to have uh, kind of some more uh, more storefronts. So there's going to be a lot of grading to make that happen. So my other concern in this area, so I was going to use that same cross section that I was using, but I have this arterial coming through, and the only way I can make this work would be to have a frontage road, a frontage collector road uh, to, to, to maintain this sort of uh, craziness happening in this forestry district. Uh, reasonably, that might happen with this project. Um, do I want to do that? Maybe is the better question. <sighs> I don't know that I have an option. I, well... There's always an option. So I could take this. I mean, this is not, I, I would think that this two lane road is functioning as an arterial. Well, no, it's functioning as a collector. Okay, so this isn't going to prioritize the movements in this part of the city as much. We're gonna see if it works for now. If we have to upgrade it to an arterial later, fine. Right now, I don't know that it's necessary or warranted just yet. So let's let's just let it go for the time being. And uh, if later on down the line, it seems necessary to actually build a uh, to, to, to build an arterial on this side, we will do it. So I think that we're going to continue our commercial zoning in this district up to the roundabout, but that's not a, not a huge deal. I do think that we need a path connection through here from the library onto this arterial. And maybe, uh, well, yeah, I, I, it's probably the easiest place to make that connection. I'd probably prefer it over here, but this will do. So let's get that through right now. Let's do some anarchy to make this happen. Okay. That, in my opinion, makes a ton of sense. Um, we would want people to, to be able to, to get from this neighborhood over, and now they can. So we've got this running again, and I'm hoping that we get some development to occur in this area to get the power connected fairly quickly. And maybe I should just make that connection because <laughs> we, 
We kind of need it. Let's speed things up now. We'll see if development occurs. This might be a good time to look at our water pipes. Yeah, because we've got some things going on right now that don't make a ton of sense. So, while well, this entire area is really struggling with its, uh, with its power situation, we will also take away water. <laughs> so, <laughs> if the power didn't get him, the water will. <laughs> All right, we've got our power connection as we were placing our water pipes that power connected up. And we are in a much, 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 much better spot. Yeah, and let's look at this. I just... Yeah, there's a little bit more grading that we need to do. You see that, uh, whoops. There's this bump here. That's pretty unnatural. Let's uh, feather this out just a little bit. We'll just do some last minute cleanup on all of these areas. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty steep. <laughs> but I think it works. And there is a decent amount of traffic using this. And I'm curious, where's this traffic going? Oh, I can't stand that. There's parking right there. Yeah, no one is parking right there. <laughs> so there's a way to handle this. Oh, there's a couple ways to handle this. And I think I'm going to do it. Uh, no, I'm taking away the ability to walk through here if I do that. There. Just have some trees and now there's no way to park there. That is significantly better. And I guess I never converted the road over here. So let's take care of that as well. I know that pedestrians can really muck up a roundabout. But I think it's really important to have pedestrian connections everywhere. And we will figure out the issues if they become an issue in this area. So I guess the other thing we should probably do is configure this as a roundabout. I know that I will get yelled at in the comments if I do not. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty good. I think that uh, this is a much better configuration. Let's do a couple of things here. Okay, just wanted to make sure that all of my signals were correct and we have give way all the way around there or yield or whatever you want to call it so i think we're in a good spot so i think that this connection is a good one so let's see where cars are going and you can see when we just look at this quickly we've got that through movement and i know that that was a movement that suffered with the double trumpet so uh I, this is a much more logical connection let's look at the traffic We've got some decent traffic flow. I do think, let's look at yeah, despawning. We're not despawning, so we're good there. So this is, uh, this is, this is pretty good. So, I, you know, I was going to get to building um, you know, the, the shopping center over here. And I do want to do that, but I don't want this episode to get too long. So I think I'm going to save that for the next one. What I... What I might do right off the bat, though, is kind of make some building pads. So that is something that could end up happening as part of this project. We're already doing some grading. Economic development is important. So we'll make some building pads. So these are going to be at different levels because of the topography. And there will be frontage roads that kind of connect this entire site. And these are going to be auto-oriented retail type uses, maybe some uh, some fast casual sort of uh, eateries. Not the most exciting stuff in my opinion, but it is the kind of thing that you, you need to have um, in certain types of districts. I'm just going to modify some of these heights a little bit because I think that that would also occur as part of this project and I think we're gonna focus most of the development on this side we might also have another pad over here another building pad 
And with this, we've created a pretty significant area where we could have some commercial development and create a nice little shopping center right here. Kind of something to mirror what's on the other side of the river. I want to at least give a path up here. It could be a little sharp there. That's fine. We'll put fencing. Um, so let's take a look at what we've created. It's pretty narrow, truthfully. Especially when you look at the target over here. We're going to probably need to do something about that. Or these are going to be different kind of oblong shaped parking lots. But uh, I think that it'll be nice to have that right across. The, the thing that's kind of a pity is there's not going to be a way to easily make it across here. Unless you make a local trip on the highway. Or you go all the way through this industrial district. But it is on the way out of town for most resident, r residents who are going this way. And certainly it would be very convenient for anyone living in this district. And eventually, uh, one of these future builds coming up. Uh, you know, I've had these districts named for a long time. Uh, let's see if I can turn those on. So we have all of these districts named. And this is from you know, episode 15 or so. I got some, some, some names and I really want to actually get to building these. You know, ep we're episode 55 now, so 40 episodes later, and maybe I'll get to actually building these soon. But I, I do want to focus on this retail district first, and then we'll get over there. So I think that's where we're going to leave it here. We've got our building pads. We're going to uh, select some stores. So I do have some stores downloaded, and I'd love to hear from you what you like. So I have a I have a Gander Outdoor, Ikea, Walmart, At Home, Michaels, uh, Bloomingdale's, Dillard's, uh, Ashley Home, HEB Grocery Store, Macy's, Walmart, Best Buy, Courtyard by Marriott, Dave & Buster's, CarMax, and then a bunch of smaller uses that I'll probably pepper in as well, McDonald's, Burger King, um, Panda Express, Starbucks. But what big stores do you want to see in this area? I think we've got probably got room at least at least four if not five uh, maybe six depending on how i do this so let me know what you would like to see here leave it in the comments and i will be uh very excited to uh, to, to see and, and, and potentially place those in this area thank you so much for joining me today uh, if you like this video please consider hitting the like button if you aren't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and if you want to be notified when I release new videos, hit the notification bell. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Their names are listed here. Uh, your support makes all of this possible. It's how it, it helps me maintain the channel and make sure that my equipment is up to date. So I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. I will leave you with a brief city tour. Bye. <laughs>